talk about Hunter Avalon. You guys sent me this video with him reacting or taking a look at Praise You and Amala. I like her channel. She makes good stuff and her debates be crazy. She was smoke Hunter Avalon. Let's take a look. I already gonna tell that he's gonna just start crying. That's gonna be my journey. His argument is him crying. Let's take a look at this video, fam. Pull it up. If you want to watch the full video, check it out on his channel. Well, now that you've heard a few of their arguments, do you dislike conservatives less than you did before? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Is this a parody? Is this, am I getting clowned? She's like, so now that you've heard the arguments, I. No, you are a clown. You are a clown. You're not getting clown. You are a clown, sir. Bet you're not hating conservatives as much, huh? You're right, Amala. I hate them more now. Thank you. You've actually, you, you've managed to make me hate conservatives even more than I previously thought I did. Because before, I used to think there was this little glimmer of hope inside of me that maybe, just maybe, conservatives were just ignorant, but you're demonstrating that a good portion of conservatives are actually incredibly... Wasn't you conservative, though? Hunter. Hunt, you, you was conservative, bro. I don't know if he, if he noticed that you, you was conservative though. Self-aware of their arguments, how their arguments can be perceived, how their arguments might even be wrong, and yet they just continue rolling with it because, because liberal bad. <laughs> Still got one of the worst intros in the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a video to review. A revideo, a a, a revideo review of what? good old Prager Pill. They've dropped a new video, you see. And let's read the a video review. What's a video review? What's a, a video review? You're going to review a video. The title. Now, Chad, I'm sure you're going to have lots of good ideas for this one. Why do you hate conservatives? Question mark. Where do we start? Do you have all day? <laughs> Why do you hate conservatives? Now we we know you could cry all day. We we not trying to hear that though, pimp. I, I would like you not to cry all day. Um, geez, maybe because they reinforce their dipshit ideas when it comes to God. Maybe when it comes to the fact that they're incredibly wow. ignorant when it comes to the issues of trans people. Maybe it's because of the fact that they uh, they're generalizing is crazy consistently. And can we generalize all people on the left for being nasty people that speak poorly on, on the Lord? Like, is that, is that something we supposed to just assume? Pose as fun, loving American patriots, yet they consistently advocate to trample all over American oh, values, like uh, the rights of gay people to get married, which is covered by the 14th Amendment, or the rights for protesters to burn the American flag, which is covered by the First Amendment. Uh, you know, the, the big posers who claim that they love America, but the fam, you can be took for the second part, the latter, you can be given criticism for that or told how disgusting it is, how disrespectful it is. All right. As far as the first part, I find myself to be conservative, especially traditional sense. I, I don't care about that first part. Do do whatever, right? Just don't try to dictate that I have to like be okay with it or participate and things like that, right? That's what I'm against. I'm against you trying to force me to be with whatever the hell you're doing. I don't care what you're doing, right? So yeah, both of those claims you just made about conservatives would be wrong. The minute you do something they don't like, they trample all over the constitution and then wipe their ass with it. Those are just a couple that have like come to my mind off the top of my head. Oh yeah, they also are part of Prager U. So I think that alone is enough to, to hate conservatives as a whole. All of conservatives are guilty because PragerU exists. Why do you hate conservatives? That's stupid. We already answered that question. Also, shout out to Amala. It's Amala. Yeah. What's her name? Amala. You know what? Let's do it here. Amala Ekpanobi. Okay. Okay, Amala. More like I'm a loser. <laughs> God. Oh. She's not coming back from that one. Okay. Oh, he thought that was fine. He, he really thought that was like one of the hottest jokes of 2023. 
Fam. That was trash. That like that was actual trash. That that was not good. You suck. Seriously though, let's let, let's start. Why do you hate conservatives? Well, let's not say hate. Let's say dislike, because you don't really hate anyone. You may dislike them because they want to ban abortion. Conservative It's not even that they want to ban abortion. It's more so the, the way they go about it is not actually going to result in a reduction of abortion, and it's only going to uh, result in negative impacts on women's autonomy. That's more the problem. The problem is that if you really wanted to stop abortion or at least see significant decreases in abortion, you would be taking the Democrat approach, which is, unfortunately, abortion is something that is going to exist. It's never just going to cease to exist. It sucks. Even if you think it's evil, it's an evil that is, I don't want to say a necessary evil because it's not necessarily necessary, but the way in which you reduce that is going the Democrat route, advocating better sex ed, better contraceptive access. And then also making more establishments for people to to have these abortions. Is that the Democrat way as well? Actually promoting for people to go to these establishments and get these procedures is is that the Democrat way? Like I'm, you can't have it one way, and not the other. Better education on contraceptive use. Whenever these types of policies are put in place you see a reduction in abortion. Conservatives say they're all for freedom, but when it comes to a woman's freedom to choose what she wants to do with her own body, they sing a different tune. You may dislike them because they oppress people of color and deny the fact that America is systemically racist. Let's see. Oppress people of color and deny the fact that America is systemically racist. So again, um, yes, this is actually something I hate about conservatives. Congratulations. What? Systemic racism doesn't exist. I said it. I said it. What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna get mad? You gonna get mad? I said I'm tired of people being lazy, blaming someone else for something that they doing or not doing. Talking about some systematic racism. How about get your job, get off your ass? How about you know? Let me turn this off. Lazy ass bastards. I'm a loser. You, uh, you, you've successfully pinpointed a very real reason as to why we all here fucking hate conservatives. And let me explain this. First of all, denying the fact that America is systemically racist. What do you mean, America? People like to say that. You think all of America is systemically racist? There is this systemic racism in America. I don't know if you would say all of America, whatever. Is there systemic racism uh, in America? So yes. What does yeah, there's classism for sure. I've been saying that for years. I've learned that shit a long time ago. <laughs> classism exists for real, especially in jobs too. It's not even about race, bro. Not about race at all. So yeah, classism exists for sure. Right? Maybe even some prejudice. But racism, um, system systematic. Get the hell out of here with that. Classism? Yeah. Yeah, there's classism for sure. I've been treated a certain way because of my lower class status, I guess. What does that mean? What it means is there are policies that are put in place that even if they are put in place with good intent, if they are resulting in negative and disproportionate mm -hmm. uh, consequences or outcomes hey, guys, for daddy. people of color, then it is systemic racism. It is that simple. Similarly to what I just said in the previous conversation, um, a lot of the times people will say things like, cops are racist and targeting black people. That's not a good approach to take because you can't prove intent. We don't know that. And what we do know from the majority of statistics is that uh, police tend to enter the police force with the desire to better their community. The problem is if there is widespread police uh, corruption throughout the nation, because there are higher rates of police in the black area, black people are going to feel that corruption at disproportionately higher rates than opposed to, say, white people. That is just a fact of the matter. It's not about, no, shut your ass. It's not about race, right? If there's bad cops, we need to figure out how to get the bad cops up out of there, right? right? And not obliterate all police, which a lot of people was pushing out here in these streets. A lot of people out here pushing that, that we don't need police. Hi, I'm not, I keep telling people, they not ready for that Negan lifestyle. When he come with that, with that baseball bat, 
And he talking about some all these crops is mine. You're not gonna you're not gonna want to hear that, pimp. You're not gonna want to hear that. So it is best to, you know, respect the police and what they do and the value that they bring. Right? A lot of people don't want to do that. They crazy. Um, but yeah, I think overall uh, he's triggering. Matter. And of course, you go down the line, you know, well, police are there because there's more crime. Well, why is there more crime? It's because there's more poverty. Why is there more poverty? Well, because of redlining and the drug war, which, what do you know? Oh, that was racism. Oh, yikes. Systemic racism is all around, okay? And that was racism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he don't know what he's talking about. The conservative. I don't want to get deep into that. So I could really talk about that because I've done extensive research on exactly the topic that he is speaking on. Damn, uh, if you want to, I guess, a good depiction or somewhat accurate depiction on how that went down, you should watch a TV show called Snowfall. That gives that's probably the most accurate depiction on TV that I've seen from my research. And I researched that years before that when the game said a line on a song called Crack Music. And I went and looked like, let me look into this and wait. Hmm. This, this, don't, this don't seem right. Freeway Ricky Ross. Look into the Freeway Ricky Ross story. You're going to be like, hmm. <laughs> like, some, some don't seem right. Some don't add up here. Know what I mean? If themselves will acknowledge it also. The minute they need to shit on the black community, they will be quick to bring up the fact that look at all the single mothers as soon as welfare was put in place. So you're saying there was a policy put in place that disproportionately negatively impacted black people? So systemic racism isn't real until it's real because it's convenient for your dipshit agenda. That's right. That's not just about black people. That, that could just be that they wanted fathers out the household. More than just black people are on welfare, bro. I, I don't know why people keep saying stuff like you you can get welfare even when you're not black. It's not just a black thing, right? <laughs> In fact, most of the people I know get denied, even though they they work hard and do need assistance. No. So yeah. Right. Okay. Now I get it. Furthermore, another reason why I, I hate the argument is because not only are they denying factual reality that systemic racism is obviously a thing. The only logical alternative is that black people themselves individually are inferior or stupid some way. That's why I hate this argument as well. Because Within the black community? Sorry, guys. I'm smoking and not trying to cough in the mic. Within the black community, there's a lot of people that make a lot of bad decisions, I will say. The trap is a trap, without a doubt. And there's people that never want to get out. I visited someone I knew in the projects and that it brought up a discussion because I'm like, yo, people always talking about they getting treated this way and treated that way. Look at how you treat your surroundings. I couldn't even walk in the staircase without having to step in, in urine. And more. And more, fam. Like, it's, it's nasty. But yeah, that's certain people, they don't care. If you don't even care for your community, for your building, I don't expect you to care for much. So that victimhood mentality, not a lot of people just don't want to get themselves out of certain circumstances or positions. They're okay with that. Even Jay-Z said, uh, I don't be in the projects hallway talking about how I'll be in the projects all day. People claim that they proud, right? And there's a lot of destruction. So you can't just blame, oh, there was this systematic thing. No, get out of here with that. They clone top, oh, bull crap. No, 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 no. You can't just blame white people. That's, that's stupid. Take accountability. Because if there's no system in place that is negatively impacting black people, then why is it that we are seeing generations upon generations of poverty in the black community? There's either a systemic problem here or black people are all just kind of dumb and lazy and they just don't really want to get up and work. What about the white community that's, that's broke? Does he not know that there's broke white communities? Does he just assume every white person is rich and every black person is dirt poor? 
Like there's a no, like because I I remember I used to hang out in Trailer Park with my friends, and that's when I realized Project Trailer Park, same thing, same thing, same struggle. So like, and also white people can live in the projects, and black people can have trailers. It's one thing doesn't just fit. Like he thinks like so in some kind of weird structured box. It's as if he had like a manual for how to be a woke bitch. And he just reads line for line the things that you have to generalize and assume about people. They don't want to get a job. You know, they're, they're all lazy losers, boohoo. That is actually is. so fucking dumb. And that in and yeah. of itself is racism. <laughs> White people, see, I just said that. Say, so, hey, look, without even reading that comment, I just said that. There's no thing attached to any kind of race. 100%, Heather. The only logical alternative to a refusal that America has systemic racism is a racist belief that black people are just inferior. It's really quite pathetic, but we're only 26 seconds in and I've already given you uh, quite a big rant. Let's, uh, let, let's continue. Sorry. Conservatives say that everybody is equal regardless of race and that racism has little to no effect on the daily lives of people of color. So they just ignore the issue altogether. You may dislike them because they don't exactly. believe if they said that they this is exactly what I was just saying. Yes. Like broke white people exist as well. The whole community. Like so like when people are saying he's assuming all white people are rich, all black people are poor, there's designated areas. Like this is fam, he's bugging. He's bugging. It's a whole lot of assumptions. It's like he got like a manual on okay, so if you're black, this is everything about you. That's the reason why he was saying certain things to me, like, uh, how can you vote this way or because you're black? Or how could you th say that because you're black? And then he told, uh, like, what was it, an alphabet community person? He told him, how can you vote like that when you're in the alphabet community? It's like, it's weird, bro. It's really weird. He just has these boxes where if you're one thing, all the other boxes get checked. It would be literally denying reality. And again, then why are black people disproportionately given the death sentence, Amala? Why is it when you compare rates of black people given the death sentence as opposed right. to white people who've committed similar crimes? Probably never lived in low income. I don't think so either. Well, I did hear something that he comes for money, but either or it doesn't matter to me. I just don't, I don't believe that he's being genuine. I do think he is pandering a hundred percent. Without a doubt, he's pandering. Given the death sentence, black people are sentenced to death more often. Why is that? Is there some failure on the black person then? Did he what? look a little bit too thuggish in the courtroom? The only alternative is literally a racist bullshit uh, belief that black people, again, just inferior. You may dislike them because they don't believe in climate change. So no white person ever been falsely in prison, like in history? Like never? Not one? Scott. Scientists keep telling us we're overheating the planet and conservatives no don't seem to care. They're more concerned about profits than people. But well, conservatives deny factual reality because it's inconvenient for their fifis. So, yeah, of course, they deny climate change. Like, yeah, it's, that's part and parcel of being a conservative. It's like, I am a conservative. I will now no longer take uh, into account facts. I am ruled by feelings. That's what it means to be a conservative. What good is money if you. You just described your whole YouTube channel, Pep. You just, you just described your whole entire existence on YouTube. You have no planet to spend it on. You may dislike them because they're obsessed with guns. How are we ever going to stop gun violence if we don't get guns off the streets? And how are we ever going to get guns off the streets if conservatives block every common sense gun law? You may dislike them because they're so intolerant. What's the harm of calling somebody by their preferred pronouns? Literally, I like how she's like, just giving a better, <laughs> a better argument. You might not like them because it's just they, they refuse to just use simple language. I wish you would get to her actual argument. She's not really even making the argument yet. It seems like this is an introduction to her saying like this is what a lot of people that's woke might think about conservatives. But here's what really is happening. And he's just not getting to that part yet. Terminology like pronouns. Yeah, actually, yes. Amala, I didn't even think of that one. Thank you for pointing that out. Another reason to hate these dumb fucks. Why can't conservatives just show some compassion instead of obsessing over every kind of behavior they don't like? True. You may dislike them because if they got their way, they'd get rid of democracy and establish an authoritarian theocracy. 
bye-bye separation of church and state. Not all of them, but definitely some of them want to. I mean, what happened on January 6th was a deliberate act oh my of gosh. anti-democracy. Oh my God. People bring up January 6th like it's a new way of saying good morning. Like I've, I've never heard something brought up so much. Fam, people bring that up like like it was like, I don't know. They've been, they've to bring it up more than slavery at this point. Slavery is taking a quick back seat. That's the new slavery. They're going to be bringing that up like, <laughs> like, oh, worry. Y'all want us to bring up slavery no more? <laughs> January 6th. Like, what? Come on, man. January 6th. Never forget. Nah. Because they were trying to stand in the way of a democratic process where everybody casts their votes. So yeah, there's that. And then you say bye-bye separation of church and state. Maybe you're trying to like straw man the left here, but you realize that Laura Boebert not too long ago was just saying we should do away with the separation of church and state. The the straw man is kind of lame if it's actually based in reality. Separation of church and state. You the king of straw mans, bro. Hello, fascism. After all that, you might sum up conservatives with one word. Be my evil. Ugh. If any of the Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah. I like this Amala chick so far. Maybe uh, yeah, maybe this isn't so bad after all, you know? Ugh. This resonates. You liked it either way because you was thirsty. It's with you. I get it. I've been there. 